Is it recording? Okay, it's recording. This is like the fifth time I'm recording this because the first time I was blurry, the second time it just felt too weird, and the third time and fourth time, um, well the fourth, the third time I realized I wasn't really recording. I thought I was, but I hadn't actually checked. <sighs> Sometimes I'm stupid. But anyway, I was trying to get to sleep one night and I was having this weird moment of like mixed memories and trying to remember stuff when all of a sudden I remembered something that was really weird. Um, my sister and I, when we were younger, we used to fight a lot. Well, not a whole lot because, you know, my mom wasn't into all that nonsense, so she used to put it into that real quick. But for the most part, we used to, we, we did argue sometimes, and sometimes it was over, over the most ridiculous stuff. One of these things was a dirty brown pillowcase. Keep in mind, it is not actually a dirty pillowcase. It's just that the color was just a very ugly color now that I think about it. It was this weird wannabe chocolate brown. It wasn't even pretty. Like, nobody would think that little girls fight over things that like really attractive, like pretty colors, frills, lace, ruffles, Disney princesses, chocolate, whatever, something interesting. But no, me and my sister would fight over this doodle -doo brown pillowcase for the longest. And it wasn't because, you know, it was the most gorgeous pillowcase made out of silk or satin fabric and it just felt real nice against the skin. Mm -mm. It was over something really weird. Like, for some reason, to my four-year-old mind, this pillowcase was like freaking magic. Like, this thing was always cool in the summer. Like, you know how whenever you flip your pillow to the cool side, just to kind of get a little bit of relief from all the heat all around you? Both sides were the cool side of this pillow. Don't worry about it. We had this other pillow that I remember specifically that was made out of this kind of linty kind of material. You lay on that, you can sweat. Like, forever. No matter how hot the fan blowing on you, no matter how much lemonade you have, you will be sweating while you laying on this pillow. So this brown pillow, this ugly brown pillow, was like the complete opposite of that. It was like amazing to us that it used to be like so comfortable no matter what the temperature is. Oh, it's cold? Oh, it's just comfortably soft and warm against your face. Oh, it's hot? It's nice and cool and silky against your skin. Wonderful. Lovely. And there were these little nubbin things. The little weird nubbin things on the opposite side from the open end. You know, the other short side. There these little, those two little nubby things on the very upper corner. What do we call them? Tonitins? Don't ask me how to spell it. I don't know how. And I don't know where it came from. But I know for years and years and years that was a part of my vocabulary. Because all it meant was little squishy corners on the pillowcase. If your pillowcase didn't have squishy corners, shame on you. I didn't want to use that pillow. Didn't want to use it. So whenever my, me and my sister would, one of us would get this pillowcase, the other one would fight to get this pillowcase off of the pillow. Or just take the whole pillow entirely. Or hide the pillow until the other person was asleep and then use this pillow. It was ridiculous that we would go like five rounds for a pillowcase. And I'm not quite sure where the story is going, but it's really weird and it's really funny. And I thought you guys would like the story and I hope my big sister doesn't mind me sharing. I wonder if she even remembers this. This will probably be a good jog for her memory. So, uh, yeah. Hmm. So yeah, this week's video was a little bit different than all the rest of my videos where I was just talking about random stuff I remembered from when I was little. I might do a couple more of these. I might not. Depends on if you guys are actually interested in it. You know, for the two people who like to comment and like my videos, awesome. Thanks for you guys. You're my best friends forever. And for the people who just kind of Linger in the background, that's cool too. So Neely burnt down the kitchen. This is why you shouldn't vlog while you're cooking people, because you think you turn off the stove, but you really haven't. Kind of like I thought I'd turn on this camera, but I hadn't. I should probably stop doing that. But anyway, um, if you want to see other videos like this, or have any other videos you want to see me shoot, I was thinking about doing a little bit of wardrobe shoot, but, you know, up to you guys. You know, thumbs up if you like the video. Uh, don't thumbs down it. Don't hurt my feelings. Okay, bye.